Hey Chantal, what do you do on the weekend? On the weekend, I wake up and first I make breakfast. Oh, what do you make? I like to make toast. All oh, right. I often eat toast too. Do you put butter on your toast? I do. Uh, I put butter and jam. Oh, I love butter and jam on my toast. Do you eat cereal? No, I used to, but not anymore. Yeah, on the weekend, I don't eat cereal. Uh, on the weekend, I cook a nice breakfast, but I eat cereal during the week. What else do you do on the weekend? Hmm, let's see. After I eat breakfast, I clean the kitchen and make my bed. What about you? I also clean my house. Uh, I clean my rooms. I vacuum. I wash the windows. I wash the dishes. I do my laundry. I do that on Saturday, but on Sunday, I have fun. And what do you do for fun? I go to the park. I play sports. I play soccer at the park. Sometimes I ride my bike. Sometimes I go hiking. I do lots on Sunday. On Sunday, I relax. I don't study. I don't work. And I don't clean my house. Nice. What do you do on Sunday? I also enjoy my time on Sunday. I really like to meet my friends, and sometimes we go to festivals or visit new cities, and we eat a lot of really good food. Oh, that sounds fun. Yes. Actually, we also really enjoy camping. Do you like camping? I love camping. I love the outdoors. I go hiking often. Oh, me too. Oh, that's cool. What about Sunday evening? Oh, Sunday evening, I relax. I cook a big dinner, and I listen to music, and sometimes I read my book. But often, I go to sleep very early on Sunday. Oh, wow. And you? Well, on Sunday, I don't cook. I usually order food. I order pizza. Or maybe I eat at a restaurant, um, and then later in the evening, on Sunday, I always watch TV. So my favorite TV show is on Sunday night. And what's your favorite TV show? My favorite TV show is called Billions. Billions? Yeah, it's about money and power in New York. It's very interesting. Nice. Maybe I should watch it. Oh, you should, but you go to bed early. Yes, around nine o'clock. Oh, okay. Maybe you can see it. Okay. Hey, Todd, let's talk about months and American holidays. All right, let's do it. Great. What holiday is in January? Well, in, on January 1st, we have New Year's Day. Right. That's very fun. Of course. I love New Year's Day. Me too. And what about February? In February, we have Valentine's Day on February 14th. Ooh, that's right. So romantic. Yes. <laughs> and I don't like Valentine's Day. Why not? I never have a girlfriend. Oh, sorry. Yeah. What about March? What holiday is in March? March has St. Patrick's Day. Right. On March 17th? Yes. Do yeah. you usually celebrate St. Patrick's Day? I do. I love green. Green is my favorite color. Me too. Oh, nice. What about April? April has April Fool's Day, mm. but that's not a holiday. Not really, but it's still fun to celebrate on April 1st. Right. Oh, usually Easter is in April. Usually, yes, but the day changes every year. Right. Sometimes it's March, though. True. Right. Okay. 
What about in May? What holidays are in May? In May, I think a lot of countries have a holiday on May 1st, but America doesn't have a holiday on, on May 1st. But we do like to have fun, fun celebrations for Cinco de Mayo, May 5th. Right. What do you usually do for Cinco de Mayo? We usually eat Mexican food. Same. And I hear that in Mexico, they don't celebrate Cinco de Mayo. Really? Yeah. It's only in America. That's funny. Yeah, funny, huh? I actually heard that St. Patrick's Day also is not popular in Ireland. Oh, that's surprising. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Hmm, maybe. Okay, what about June? In June, we have the first day of summer. Ooh, what day is that? I think it's on June 21st. I think so. The longest day of the year. I love that day. Me too. It's the best. Yeah. And July? In July, in America, of course, we have July 4th, Independence Day. Yeah. What do you do on July 4th, Independence Day? Usually, I would have a barbecue with friends and family and watch fireworks. Mm, yeah, me too. The same. Mm, it's fun. What about August? Is there a, a holiday in August? I can't think of a holiday in August, but my brother's birthday is August 15th. Ooh, that's great. Yeah, my younger brother. Oh, wow. Do you uh, know of any holidays in August? I don't, but usually school is out in August. So right. for the whole month, there's no school. Yeah, vacation time. What about September? Well, September has Labor Day, mm -hmm. but I don't remember the day. Is it September 1st? I'm not sure. I think it's September 1st, 2nd, 3rd, or 4th. I think it changes every year. Maybe it's the first Monday. I think so. Let's see. After September, what holiday is in October? The best holiday. Halloween. Yes, I love Halloween. And Halloween is October 31st. Right, every year. Plus, October has my birthday. Oh, what day is your birthday? October 2nd. Nice. Yeah, when is your birthday? Not until December. Ah, ooh, coming up. Yes. <laughs> okay, so what holiday is in November? November, we have Thanksgiving Day. Yes. Actually, Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. Oh, you said Halloween. I know. Um, I changed. I changed it. <laughs> what day is Thanksgiving? It changes like Easter. It's on the third Thursday. Is it the third or the fourth Thursday? It's the fourth Thursday. Oh, okay. You're right. It's on the fourth Thursday of every November. Right. How do you usually celebrate Thanksgiving? I have dinner with my family, and I watch football. Yes, it's tradition. Watch football. Yes. Right. Okay, what about December? Uh, well, December has Christmas, which is December 25th. Yes. And we also have New Year's Eve, which is December 31st. Right. Both fun holidays. Yeah, really good holidays. I like it because you get lots of time off work or school. Yeah, it's good to spend time with friends and family. And get presents. Of course. So when is your birthday? December 14th. Ooh, nice. I have to yeah. remember. <laughs> Yes, you could give me a gift. So what is your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday is actually Halloween. Ooh, okay, I change again. Me too. <laughs> so Todd, where are you from? I am from the U.S. I am from San Francisco. It's on the West Coast. And what do you do? I'm an English teacher. Also, mm. I create Ello. So, I work on Ello a lot. Okay. How old are you? I am 47. Yeah, I am old. <laughs> no, that's not old. Uh, who is your best friend? 
My best friend is Don. He is a teacher too. He lives in America. And are you married? No, I am not married. I am still single. Where is your mom from? My mom is from California. She is from Los Angeles. And what does she do? She is a manager. She works in a clothing store.、Uh, where is your dad from? My dad is from San Francisco. He is not from Los Angeles,、um, but he met my mother in Los Angeles.、Mm. And what does he do?、Uh, he is also a manager. He works for a tree cutting company. They cut trees. Wow, that sounds yeah. exciting. Yeah, cool job. Is it dangerous? It is a little dangerous, a little. And Amy, what about you? Where are you from? I'm from Glasgow, on the west coast of Scotland, in the United Kingdom. Nice. And what do you do? I'm also a teacher. Nice. What、yeah. do you teach?、Uh, I teach English.、Uh, um, Me too. <laughs> It's fun, isn't it? It is. It is very fun.、Um, excuse me. Can I ask、mm -hmm. how old are you? Of course, you can ask. I'm thirty-four. Okay, very young. <laughs> very young.、Uh, where is your mom from? My mom is also from Glasgow. Ah, nice.、Yeah. What does she do? Well, she's retired now, but she was a nurse. Oh, nice. And is your dad from Glasgow? Yes, he is. What does he do? He's also retired, but he used to be a teacher. Oh wow! Many teachers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it. <laughs> well, thanks, Amy. Nice talking to you. You too, Todd. Natalie, let's talk about our favorite things. Sure. First, what is your favorite color? Hmm, my favorite color is purple. Really, my favorite color is purple too. Oh, really? Yeah, but I don't have purple clothing. I love the color purple, but I don't have purple clothes. Oh, well, everything I wear is purple. No kidding. Yeah, really. That's so cool. So, what about food? What's your favorite food? Hmm. Good question. My favorite food is pizza. I love pizza, but I don't like really big pizzas. I love pizza too. What is your favorite topping on pizza? I like really spicy toppings. So salami or pepperoni,、uh, chilies. And sometimes bell peppers too. Do you like thick pizza or thin pizza? No, I don't like thick pizza because I can't eat too much. But the thin pizzas, I get lots of toppings, and I don't feel so full.、Uh, yeah, I agree. What about seasons? What is your favorite season? Hmm. My favorite season is winter. Winter. Yeah, I love winter. Don't you? No, I hate winter. Why do you like winter? I love the snow. Oh, I hate the snow. Well, I like the snow a little bit, but I hate cold weather. Yeah, I guess the cold is kind of annoying, but the snow is so much fun. I go skiing. And I play snowball fights, and I build snowmen. Yeah, that sounds fun. What about sports? What's your favorite sport? I'd say my favorite sport is tennis. That's interesting. Do you play tennis? Yeah, but I'm not very good. Do you like singles or doubles? At the moment, I'm having singles lessons. They're really fun. Oh, now you are taking tennis lessons. Yes, about twice a week. Do you watch tennis on TV? 
Yes, I watch it all the time. Who is your favorite tennis player? Hmm, I really like Roger Federer. Yeah, he's really good. Okay, last question. What is your favorite movie? Um, I don't have a favorite movie, but I really like comedies. So, what is your favorite comedy? My favorite comedy is Ace Ventura. <laughs> Ace Ventura is very funny, but that movie is really old. It is, but it's a classic, Todd. It's like 20 years old, I think. <laughs> Maybe more. I know. I've seen it a hundred times. Yeah. I like it a lot, too. Hey, Todd. What is your hometown? My hometown is San Francisco. Oh, nice. Is your town beautiful? Yes. San Francisco is very beautiful. It has a nice view of the ocean. Sounds nice. Is your town clean? It's pretty clean. Sometimes it's dirty. Some places are dirty, but usually the city is clean. Oh. Is San Francisco dangerous? No, it's not too dangerous. Sometimes we have crime, but it's safe. Great. Is your town expensive? Yes, San Francisco is very expensive. Everything is expensive. Food is expensive. Housing is expensive. Shopping is expensive. Everything. Oh, really? Is San Francisco famous? Yes, it's very famous. Uh, in America, it's famous for its bridge. We have the Golden Gate Bridge. It's the world's most famous bridge, I think. I know that bridge. Is your town hot? Never. San Francisco is never hot. It's never super cold, but it's never hot. It's always warm or cool. Sounds great. Is San Francisco interesting? I think so. It's a very interesting city. We have people from everywhere. And we have good food, we have nature nearby, and we have interesting buildings. Wow, I'd like to go there. Oh, you should. What about your city? What's your city? My city is Chicago. Ooh, Chicago, Chicago. <laughs> is your city beautiful? Yes, it's very beautiful with lots of tall buildings and a big lake. Oh, nice. Is Chicago clean? Some parts of Chicago are clean and other parts are a little dirty. How about dangerous? Is Chicago dangerous? Similarly, some parts are dangerous and some parts are safe. Yeah, San Francisco is the same. Mm. I think every American city is the same. I think that's true. Most places are safe, but some places are dangerous. Right. Is Chicago expensive? Yes. Because it's such a big city, almost everything is expensive. Oh. Food, attractions, parking, entertainment, everything. Mm. Sounds like San Francisco. I think so. A little similar. Is it hot? It can be hot in the summer. Usually July or August, it gets hot sometimes. Is it interesting? Yes, of course. Chicago is very interesting. We have many museums and things to do, and we also have nature. At the lake, you can go and enjoy the day on the beach. Oh, nice. Yeah. Is Chicago by the ocean? It's not by the ocean. It's by a really big lake called Lake Michigan. Oh, what about San Francisco? Is it by the ocean? Yes, San Francisco is on the ocean. It's on the mm -hmm. Pacific Ocean. Right. So we have really nice beaches. Do you like the beach? I do, but the beaches in San Francisco are a little cold. Oh. In Los Angeles, they're warm. Mm. But 
Los Angeles is not interesting, <laughs> and it's expensive, and it's not right. beautiful. Right. So I don't like Los Angeles. So we should stick with San Francisco. Or Chicago. Yeah. So, Natalie, what is a typical day for you? For example, what is a typical morning? Well, I wake up at about 7 a.m. Oh, that's early. Yes, I really am a morning person. I think you are a morning person. I'm not a morning person at all. Uh, well, I don't actually get out of bed until about 7.30. Okay, so what do you do? Well, I play on my phone, I check my emails, I check Facebook, and I read the news. Uh, and do you eat breakfast at home? I usually prepare breakfast at home, yeah. What do you eat? Oh, just the simple stuff. Eggs, bacon, sausages. Sometimes I'll have toast. Do you drink coffee or tea? No, I don't like coffee or tea. Oh, what do you drink? Actually, I like hot chocolate in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I like hot chocolate too. So, what about your day? Well, I'm a teacher. I teach at a school. Lessons start at about 9 a.m. and we have lunch at noon. How many classes do you have in the morning? Each class lasts an hour, so I have three classes. Do you eat lunch at school? Yes, we have a huge canteen. Ah, is the food good? The food is great, and it's so much fun eating with the students, too. Is the food cheap or expensive? Um, it's pretty cheap. I'd say maybe $3 for lunch. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, and for that, you get a lot of food. What do you do in the afternoon? In the afternoon, I have more lessons, usually taking me till about 4 p.m. Oh, and do you have big classes? Yes, so I teach English. That means I teach the whole year, so I have really big classes. We have about 200 students at the school. That's a lot. Yes, it is. What about the evening? What do you do in the evening? When I get home, I'm usually really tired. So I get changed into my pajamas, and I watch TV for about two hours. After that, I'll maybe have some dinner, maybe get a pizza, and then read a book or play on my phone again. What do you watch on TV? I really like watching Korean drama. <laughs> Korean dramas are cool. I know. The characters are so much fun. Do you listen to K-pop? Uh, a little bit, but I think it's a little bit boring. I prefer American pop. Oh, so you like Korean dramas and American music. That's right. I also like game shows. Ah, oh, what game shows? Well, actually, my favorite one is Busted, and that's also Korean. <laughs> okay, I need to see that. So, when do you go to bed? Most nights, I go to bed at around 10 p.m., but at the weekend, sometimes it's later, maybe around midnight. Well, I think you have an interesting and long day. That's right. I'm usually very tired. Hey, Todd. Let's talk about colors. All right. What is blue? Ooh, the ocean is blue. The sky is blue mm -hmm. during the day. The sky is blue. And my eyes are blue. Oh, mine too. What is red? Red. Let's see. Well, tomatoes are red. Strawberries are red. And... 
And roses are red. Roses are red. That's right. Yep. What is green? Well, lots of vegetables are green. So lettuce is green. Mm -hmm. Cabbage is green or purple. And asparagus is green. Asparagus, right. Also, grass is green. Ah, that's right. Grass is green. What is yellow? Ooh, well, lemons are yellow. Uh, the sun is yellow sometimes. Or orange. Or red. What else is yellow? Sunflowers are yellow. Ooh, sunflowers are yellow. That's nice. What is orange? Hmm, <laughs> also sometimes the sun is orange. Right. Oranges are orange. Of course. And parsimons are orange. Yes. Oh, I know. What? Carrots. Carrots. Carrots of are course. orange. Carrots are orange. What is black? Hmm. Sometimes dirt is black. Mm-hmm. The night sky is black. Right. And your shirt is black. It is. I like my black shirt. <laughs> what is white? Vanilla ice cream is white. Mm. The snow is white. Yes. And clouds are white. Clouds are white. Ooh, and sometimes clouds are black. Yes, or when it's going to rain. Or gray. Right. What is pink? Ooh, some flowers are pink. Mm-hmm. Ooh, cotton candy is pink. Yes. And sometimes lollipops are pink. Yeah, a lot of candy is pink sometimes. Now, sometimes women's clothing is pink. Some, or men's. Or men's. Do you like pink shirts? I don't usually wear pink shirts. What about you? I don't like pink shirts. No. Oh. I don't like pink, actually. Oh, that's too bad. So what is your favorite color? My favorite color is orange. Really? Orange? Yeah. Nice. I love orange. It's so bright. What about you? I have three. I like the same. I know. I like green. Wow. I love green. I love blue. I love purple. Mm, you like the cool colors. Right. And I don't like orange. I don't like yellow. And I don't like pink. You don't like the warm colors. Yes. Bright colors, not so much. Ah, I see. What about red? Do you like red? I don't especially like red. I like red poppies, a type of flower. All right, yeah. But I don't like to wear red. Mm. Yeah, me too. Do you dislike any colors? Um, actually, I don't like brown. I think it's a boring color. Yeah, that's true. But... Often dogs are brown, and I love dogs. I also like dogs, so a brown dog is okay, but a brown shirt, no thank you. <laughs> Hello, are you the new teacher? I am, yes. My name's Natalie. What's your name? I'm Todd. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Welcome to the school. Thank you. So, what is your morning schedule? So, first period, I teach maths. So do I. I teach math first period, too. Oh, cool. After that, uh, for second period, I teach French. You speak French. I do. Oui, oui. <laughs> That's great. Well, I speak some Japanese, so I teach Japanese second period. Oh, that's so cool. I wish I spoke Japanese. Yeah, but my Japanese is not very good. But oh. I'm the only teacher that speaks Japanese, so I teach Japanese. Maybe you could teach me one day. Maybe, but I don't know much. 
How about third period? What do you teach third period? Third period, I teach English. Ah, I teach English too. Our schedules are very similar. I know. Although it is my first day, I'm a little nervous. So, what about the afternoon schedule? What do you teach fourth period?、Hmm. So, fourth period, I think I have physics. Oh, you teach physics? Yeah, I love physics. Do you teach physics? No, I don't teach physics, but I teach math. So, I teach math fourth period. Oh, what do you teach in fifth period? In fifth period, that's the sports period. So, I am the cross country coach. Oh, I have sports too, but I'm the coach for swimming. Oh, really? Are you a good swimmer? I think I'm a really good swimmer. How about you? I can swim, but I'm not a good swimmer. I like running. Oh, I hate running. How far do you run? Well, for the class, usually we run 5K every day. Wow, 5K. So, sixth period, I hear that's our teaching hours. Yeah, so sixth period, we are in the classroom, but the students are free. They can do what they want, but the students can come to class and ask questions. Oh, cool. So, do lots of students come and ask questions? Yeah, some students come, but not too many. Oh, okay. Well, this is your first day and your first week, so. Maybe the job will be a little crazy, but I think after your second or third week, the job will be very, very easy. I hope so. I'm really excited to meet the students. They seem great. Oh, I think the students will like you a lot. Oh, I hope so too. Maybe if you have some time, you could give me a tour of the school? Sure, I'd love to. Great, thanks. So, Meg, are you busy? Do you have a busy week? Yes, I usually have a busy week. Yeah, me too. So, what day is your busiest day? My busiest day is Thursday. Ooh, why? On Thursday, I have to work from early in the morning until around 6 p.m. I have to teach classes. And then after that, I need to do my shopping at the supermarket. Oh, okay. I do my shopping on Saturday. Oh, really? Yeah, always on Saturday. What else do you do on Saturday?、Uh, on Saturday, I do all my boring activities. Like what? I do my shopping, I do my laundry, I run errands,、mm -hmm. I clean my apartment. I do boring stuff because on Sunday I like to have fun. Ah, what do you like to do on Sunday? On Sunday, I often go hiking, or I go to the park, or I go to the beach. I go to the beach almost every Sunday. Wow, that sounds really fun. Yeah, the beach is beautiful. Nobody is there. It's really nice. Yeah, it sounds great. How about you? What do you do on Sunday? On Sunday, I always go to church in the morning, and sometimes I'll have lunch with friends after church. Oh, cool. And then I usually clean as well Sunday evening before the new week starts. Now, do you work Monday to Friday? Yes, I work every weekday. What about you?、Uh, I work Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. I don't work Wednesday. Oh, what's your schedule like on Wednesdays? On Wednesdays, I usually stay at home、mm -hmm. and I relax. Sometimes I go shopping, sometimes I go to the park, sometimes I prepare lessons because I'm a teacher. So sometimes you do a little work on Wednesdays. Yes, but I do work at my house.、All、I、right. never go to school on Wednesday. Why not? Because it's a day off.、Mm. So, how about Monday? Are you busy on Monday? I'm usually busy on Monday because my schedule is similar to Thursday. So, I have to teach class until around 6 p.m. 
Yeah, Mondays are busy for me too. Mondays are busy. Thursdays also are busy. Tuesday and Friday are not so busy. Hmm. Your schedule sounds a little similar to mine. Yeah. Well, we're both teachers. That's true. What about activities? Do you do any activities during the week? During the week, if I have free time, sometimes I will watch a TV show or a movie, and I also go to Japanese language class. Oh, nice. Yeah, so sometimes I have homework, so I have to do my Japanese language <laughs> homework some nights. What about you?、Uh, I play futsal on Tuesday nights. So every Tuesday I play futsal with my friends for two hours, and that's fun. And then sometimes on Friday I meet my friends for dinner. Hmm, that sounds good. And I also like sports. So, I usually watch sports on TV on Monday. What sports do you usually watch on Monday? I watch everything. I watch baseball, I watch basketball, I watch American football, and I watch soccer.、Oh. So, I come home and I watch a video of a game from Saturday or Sunday. So, I don't watch sports on Saturday or Sunday. I watch the video later on Monday night. Is it better that way? Yeah, usually I don't check the internet, so I don't know the score. Ah, well, sounds like you have a busy schedule. You too. So, Abby Demi, let's talk about languages. Sure. So, you are from Nigeria, and Nigeria has many languages, correct? That's true, yes. How many languages can you speak? I would say that. I can speak one language very well. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> And that would be English. But I speak another, I speak other languages fairly well Yoruba, which is a Nigerian language, French, and a little bit of Japanese as well. Now you are Canadian also, and in Canada, Students study French, correct? That's true,、okay. yes. Do you speak French often in Canada? While I was living there, I spoke it a lot more, yes.、Uh, do you like French? I love French. I love learning languages. French, I think, is very hard for some people, myself included, because the pronunciation of some words. Is very different than the pronunciation of American English. So I think it's funny that there are some words in French that look exactly the same as words in English, but we pronounce them completely differently. For example, I will say the word in English, and you say the same word in French, okay? I will try. For example, impossible. Impossible. Right. So that is so interesting. Again, impossible. Impossible. And they're spelled the same, correct? That's true. Yeah. How about reservation? Reservation. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> I have never thought of it like that before, Todd. But you're right. They look the same, but the pronunciations are different. I think it's a trick because we see the word. And we know how to say it one way, but we have to say it a different way. That's And, true.、Uh, yeah, we just can't do that well. That's true. Yeah. So、uh, you can speak Uruba? Yoruba. Yoruba. Yes. How yes. do you say, how are you in Yoruba? Baori. Oh, that's so cool. Again? Baori. Baori? Baori. <laughs> oh, wow. That's so cool. Thank you. Yeah. Have you ever taught that language? No, never. I don't think too many people want to learn it outside of Nigeria. I think in the future, more people will want to learn unique languages. I、and、hope you're right. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. What language do you want to learn in the future? I have many that if I had more time, I would like to learn. I'm interested. In Japanese, of course. I live in Japan now, so I would like to speak it better. 
I would also like to learn uh, Mandarin, Russian, Hausa, another Nigerian language, Spanish, and maybe a couple of others. Yeah, there's so many languages I want to learn. I want to learn Spanish, too. Um, I can speak some Thai and Japanese because I lived as a teacher in both countries. But I want to learn a language that has the same alphabet. So I can read Thai, but not very well. And I can read Japanese, but not very well. But I want to learn a language where it's easy to read and see what the word is. You know, because in Thai, you can't do that. In Japanese, you can't do that. I know what you mean. It would make it easier to learn the language. But in Russian, you can't do that. That's true. Right? It's completely different. That's true. But they have alphabets that are, that are the same. So you just have to decode them. A little bit, yeah. We have the phrase, it's all Greek to me. <laughs> <laughs> Which means you have no idea. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot, Abidemi. Thank you, Todd. Hello, Chantal. Hello. Let's play a game. Okay. Can you guess the famous person? Let's play. Okay. Person number one. She is American. Okay. She is a singer. She is young. She is about 25 years old. And now she is very famous. Her hair is blonde. And she's very cute and very pretty. Hmm. Is it Taylor Swift? Yes, correct. Ding, 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 ding. Woo. Okay, so the next person is also very famous. He is from Argentina. He is a soccer player. He is very good at sports. And... He is on a team in Spain. On a team in Spain. Yeah, he is very good. He is a little short, but he is quick. He is very fast. Hmm. I don't watch soccer so much, but is it Cristiano Ronaldo? No. <laughs> <laughs> it is Lionel Messi. I don't know. Oh no. Who he is. Ronaldo is oh. the rival of Lionel Messi. I see. Okay, so 1-1. One, one. All right, ready? Next one. This person is from Hong Kong. He is older. He is my age, about 50, maybe older. He is good at martial arts. He is in many movies. Okay. Oh, also he is funny. He is very funny. Is it Jackie Chan? Yes, correct. Ding, Yay. ding, ding. Okay, so now let's switch. You ask me. Okay. This person is a woman. She is American. And she is a very famous singer in the United States and in the world. And she is married to a very famous rapper. Do you know who she is? Is she Beyonce? Yes, hey. very good. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> she is Beyonce. Oh, nice. Okay, are you ready for the next person? I'm ready. Okay. He is a Jamaican, and he runs really fast. Okay, he is fast. He's from Jamaica. Mm-hmm. And he is so fast, he joined the Olympics and won many times. Is he a gold medal winner? He is a gold medal winner. Oh, I know. Who is it? It is Usain Bolt. Correct. Hey. Ding, ding, ding. 
Thanks, Chantal. So, Todd, you live in Japan. Do you see your family often?、Uh, yes, I see them often. I see them usually once a year, but I write to them often and I call them sometimes. Okay. And when you see them, do you go to the United States to visit them or do they come to Japan?、Uh, I go to America and then. Everyone goes to my mom's house, and everybody meets me at my mom's house,、uh, which is nice. I see my sister, and we, we talk a lot, and、uh, it's good. Does your mother miss you? Yes, she misses me, and I miss her a lot, so it's very nice to see her. And also, I miss my dad. And I miss him a lot, so I'm always happy to see him. Nice. And what about your sister? When you are in the United States, do you have some activities you like to do together?、Uh, yeah, sometimes、uh, we do stuff together. Maybe、uh, I will meet her at a cafe, or I will、uh, go shopping with her. So we do something fun. Each time I go back. Nice. Also, when I go home, I see my best friend, and that's always nice.、Um, I usually meet him for dinner, and of course, I call him, and it's always nice to see my best friend. And how about your family? Well, since I live in Japan, I also call them. And write them. But usually we only Skype about once a month. Ah. So who do you Skype with the most? Your mom or your dad? I Skype the most with my father because he wakes up very early. So his time and his schedule match my schedule. So it is easy for us to Skype. Do you call him or does he call you? I usually call him, but sometimes he calls me. Usually, if he calls me, it's because I haven't called in a long time. Uh oh.、Mm-hmm. So sometimes you make him mad. A little angry. <laughs> right. That's nice. But、And、you have a brother too, right? I do have a brother, and I call him less frequently because he is so busy with his job. So we speak about once or twice a month by、oh. messages or by phone. Oh, that's nice. So, do you follow your family on social media? Yes, I use Facebook. Oh, I use it too. It is a really easy way to keep in contact with them.、Mm. Yeah, I agree. What about other social media? Do you use Twitter? No, I don't use Twitter, and I don't use other social media either. Only Facebook. Ah,、uh, that's good, I think. Too much is too bad. I agree. But I do love Facebook. Because I can speak with my brother and my mother and my father anytime. So, with Facebook, do you check it every day? I do check it every day. Maybe it's a bad habit, but I do like to check it every day. Do you check your Facebook every day? Not every day. I check it maybe three times a week. Three times a week. Yeah, I don't use it much and I don't use it on my phone. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, I like my free time. Do you use other social media such as Twitter or Instagram?、Uh, I do use Twitter, but I don't use it on my phone. I only use it on the computer. Okay, what about Instagram? Oh, I don't use it at all. Do you use it? No, I don't use it. Oh, that's right. You only use Facebook. 
I only use Facebook. Oh, interesting. Well, that's nice that we can talk to our family on Skype and Facebook because Japan is so far from America. Yes, and I think they are very happy too. Yeah, I think they are happy. Hey, Todd. So let's talk about countries. All right, let's do it.、Hmm. So you live in Japan right now. Yes, that's right. I live in Japan and I teach English in Japan. Oh, cool. And tell me, what's expensive in Japan? Well, Japan is a very, very expensive country.、Uh, so transportation is very expensive in Japan. Train tickets are expensive. Also, sometimes taxis are expensive. Even buses are expensive. Wait, so you don't have a car in Japan? Actually, I do have a car. That's funny because in Japan, cars are very cheap. So cars are cheap, but taxis are expensive. It's crazy. That's so weird. In the UK, where I'm from, taxis are really cheap, but to have your own car, it's so expensive. Wow, that's strange. Hmm. So. I'm really interested in Japan. Tell me, what's beautiful in Japan? Oh, Japan has lots of beautiful things. The temples are very, very beautiful.、Um, the nature and the scenery、uh, are beautiful as well. There are beautiful forests, beautiful lakes, beautiful beaches, and even beautiful buildings. Cool. So, what is difficult about living in Japan? Well, Japanese is difficult. So, reading Japanese is very difficult. Writing Japanese is difficult because kanji is difficult. Kanji is the Japanese character. And how many characters are there in kanji? There are about two thousand characters. So it's difficult to learn all the characters, all the kanji. It's very hard. Wow, I bet that's really tough. So tell me, what's fun about living in Japan? Well, there's many things、uh, that are fun about Japan.、Uh, the people are fun. They're very nice. And teaching English in Japan is fun. The students are very nice. So day-to-day -day life in Japan is fun and exciting. So I live in Japan, but you live in Thailand. So what about Thailand? What is expensive in Thailand? Hmm. Well, Thailand is a really cheap place to live, but. Some restaurants are really expensive. For example, if you go to a American restaurant, that's very expensive. But if you go to street food carts, they're really cheap. Yeah, and the street food is very delicious.、Mm, it's amazing. So, speaking of food, what Thai foods are really delicious? So my favorites are pad kaprao, and this is pork. It's spicy with rice and chili. I also like tom yum gung. This is like a soup, but it's very spicy. It usually comes with shrimp and mushrooms, ginger. And I usually get some rice. Yeah, I love tom yum gung. It's really, really good. So, what is difficult about living in Thailand? Hmm. I think that transport is a very difficult part of living in Thailand. If you have a car, the roads are very busy, so it takes a long time to get anywhere in the city. I usually use the subway or the SkyTrain system, but these get really busy in the morning. So when I'm taking the train to work, 
there's usually so many people on the train at the same time. Sometimes it actually makes me late for work. Yeah, the trains in Japan are really busy too. And what is fun about life in Thailand?、Mm, good question. So I really like the people here. Thai people are so friendly. They're very fun, and they always like to hang out. Yeah, Thailand sounds like a nice place to live. Yeah, it's a great place to live, actually. Hey, Natalie, I like your outfit. It looks really cute. Oh, hey, Todd. Thank you. So that shirt looks expensive. Did it cost a lot? Oh, this one. Yeah, it was about fifty dollars. Fifty dollars? That's a lot. I know. It's an American brand. Ah. Do they have that shirt in different colors? Yes. So I actually have this top in six colors. Really? What colors? I have it in purple, blue, red, gray. White and black. Actually, I have two black ones, so that's seven. You have two shirts in black. Why? Well, black is such a good color to wear. It matches everything. Yeah, so true, so true. What about your pants? Those pants are pretty cool too. Oh, these? Yeah, these were much cheaper than the tops. I bought these in San Francisco. They cost about forty dollars. Ooh, those are cheap. That's a good price. It is, and I only have one pair of these. And your shoes? Did you buy those shoes in San Francisco too? No, I didn't buy these in San Francisco. These I bought online. You bought them online? Yes. These sandals are really hard to find, so I had to buy them through Amazon. Oh, I like Amazon. I buy lots of things on Amazon. For example, I bought this watch on Amazon. How much did it cost? Well, this watch was really cheap. This watch only cost about twenty dollars. Whoa! But, yeah, but I have two watches, and I also bought. A nice gold watch on Amazon. That watch was very expensive. It cost two hundred dollars. Whoa, two hundred dollars on a watch? I think my watch only cost hmm maybe seventy dollars. But I really like this watch. It's an Apple watch. I bought it in Malaysia. I've had it for about two years now. But I think now that I have an Apple watch. I'll always have Apple watches. Yeah, that is a nice watch. I want an Apple watch too. Yeah, they're so cool. I spend so much time on my phone, and the watch works really well with my phone. I definitely recommend it. Yeah, I like this cheap watch because if it rains, or if I play sports, or if、uh, I am traveling. I can take my cheap watch, because this watch is not important.、Mm. I can break it, I can lose it, I can do anything. But my gold watch, that watch is expensive, so I keep it at home. I only wear it on nice occasions. Oh well, it's nice to have something a little more expensive, but my watch can tell me what the weather's like. My watch can tell me how many calories I've burnt, and my watch can tell me what the time is anywhere in the world. You know, I think I need to get a watch like that. This is the greatest watch.